Johnny didn't stop Mike from saying this. But they're not friends. He knows for a fact that Mike Isertel was spewing nonsense and failed to correct him. I don't think there's a real Greg Doucette anywhere in there, man. It's facades all the way down. It just depends on what he has to be for the situation at the time. I find it extremely ironic that what Mike Isertel is saying about me is literally a projection of what I do believe these two people are in this video. It's Christmas time, you know, a time for peace, love, forgiveness, all those good things. But do you think we're gonna get it? No. You know why? Craig and Johnny, they're at it again. These guys used to be good friends. What happened? Remember, Johnny and I used to be very good friends. I'm saying used to be. He, without a doubt, knows that I do not want to talk to him. We've had banter in the past. I'm not going to show the text messages, but you probably remember when he went and approached me at the Olympia. Do you really think I wanted to be in this video? Of course not. There's no way I want to be in this video, but yet he doesn't care. He doesn't care about my feelings. So these guys, Johnny and Greg, they're going at it again. And this time, you know, Christmas, like I said in the beginning of my video, it's supposed to be a time for loving people, spending time with family, giving people gifts, your friends, your loved ones. That's what the time is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be Christmas morning. You wake up. I woke up Christmas morning expecting a nice gift in front of me. Instead, I see a video of Greg and Johnny going at it again. And we thought all this stuff was in the past. We thought it was finished. And we thought, you know, it's not an issue no more. We saw the video of them at Olympia. We thought it was done. But no, it's not finished. And people are mad. People are saying, you know, why isn't this going on behind the scenes? Why is this done in open so we can all see it? We don't want to watch it, right? Even though we know everyone wants to watch it. Drama is the number one thing that gets views on YouTube is drama. So we all know this already, right? Well, what you guys don't know is, because I know, is that Johnny has tried many times to reach out to Greg behind the scenes. Many times over the past few months, to try to talk to him, to try to become friends again. And every time Johnny reached out to Greg, Greg goes and he says, you know, we're not friends. I don't know why you're reaching out to me. Don't contact me ever again. And this happened many times. I am not your friend. We're not buddies. We don't talk to each other. Why are you writing me? I've said this. I'm not going to read the messages, but Johnny knows we're not friends. He's not to approach me. I don't want him recording me in videos and he needs to stop taking advantage of people. We've had banter in the past. I'm not going to show the text messages, but you probably remember when he went and approached me at the Olympia. Do you really think I wanted to be in his video? Of course not. But he comes and approaches me with his camera woman and she's looking Looking at me and I'm looking at her and I know that she knows there's no way I want to be in this video but yet he doesn't care he doesn't care about my feelings he doesn't care about other people's feelings he do whatever it takes to be successful so Johnny has tried to go behind the scenes but like I said about drama we all know as youtubers okay I know Johnny knows Greg knows drama is the number one thing that gets views on YouTube you know, when it's some good story, nobody cares. They don't want to watch it. But if it's drama, like a soap opera, that's what people care the most about, even if they don't want to admit it. And Greg knows this. He's the king of drama videos. So if there's an opportunity for him to make a drama video, especially with somebody that is not his friend that he wants to use for uh, 
an opportunity for himself to get views, but not only get views, Greg is smart. He's using this opportunity because Johnny didn't look good in that video, nor did Mike Isratel, which I'm going to talk about in a second here. They didn't look good in that video and Greg knew it. So he used that opportunity to create a video on his own for views, but also to try to show people that he's the good person and the narcissist is Johnny and Mike. So Greg used this opportunity for all those reasons. And so let's watch the video so that I can prove, that's right, prove every last one of you who watches this video is going to know that I never lied and that they did. In real life, he doesn't talk like that. The voice is fake at all. I don't think there's a real Greg Doucette anywhere in there, man. It's facades all the way down. It just depends on what he has to be for the situation at the time. I find it extremely ironic that what Mike Isratel is saying about me is literally a projection of what I do believe these two people are in this video. I'm sorry, but this is what I feel they are. So what happened was Johnny was on a podcast with Mike Isratel. And Mike said in the video, he goes, I don't think that most of Greg Doucette's audience, I don't think they know that Greg is not a doctor. And Johnny, he sat there. He didn't say anything, but he was laughing. He was enjoying the show. You can say I'm being overly dramatic. I'm just telling you the truth. If it's funny and it's a joke, I love it. And that's almost certainly what Greg is doing. Yeah. But I think a lot of people on his channel don't actually know that he's not a doctor at various points. And that's kind of on them. I mean, I'm shocked right now that Mike Isratel actually thinks that I've said I'm a doctor, that I confuse my audience, that I trick them, that I say I'm a doctor, that I speak in a parrot voice, and that I get away with saying certain things. You never can quite tell when people are joking or when they're not. An the example is Greg Doucette. At various times calls himself Dr. Greg. He's not a doctor. And so he says, I'm saying I'm a doctor, but yet I've never said that. And I mean, we have evidence. I literally was selling this shirt. I'm not a doctor. Cheating at every sport you ever played makes you a doctor. Dope. I got eight PhDs in that case. <laughs> if speaking in a pair of voice makes you a doctor, amazing. Dr. Greg it is. It is. If somebody else were interviewing Mike at this time, somebody who knew me and knew the answer, would they not say, hey, actually, he's, he's never actually said that. He's actually quite clear in saying he isn't a doctor. Just wanted to clear that up. And Mike could have said, oh, I never knew that. I thought he was saying to be a doctor. Oh, he's not that bad after all. He's, he's not a liar. He's not pretending to be whatever it is he needs to be. I've been accused of being a lot of things. Snake oil salesman narcissist, all kinds of things. Not those things. And he sits there and says nothing. He doesn't defend me. He doesn't say you're lying about Greg saying he's not a doctor. Greg has never said that. Greg, in fact, has a shirt saying I'm not a doctor. Literally, I've been saying it for years. From day one, I said, listen, I am no doctor. Not your doctor. I am not a doctor. I've been on TRT for over 10 years and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger stronger at 45 years old and i recently signed with a company called live forever health i'm going to put a link in my coupon code in the bio and this company you know everything's been so seamless you know and i tested this out you know i would never recommend things to people unless i'm using it unless i tested the whole process and the process couldn't be easier they sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results. And then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail. So it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust that I actually did the whole process with. And pricing is competitive, similar to everybody else who does it. But this is a company that I use and a company, again, that I trust. This is the whole thing in Greg's video. He's mad that Johnny didn't stop Mike from saying this. But they're not friends. He knows for a fact that Mike Isertel was spewing nonsense and failed to correct him. He deliberately chose not to say anything. You know this to be true. You know there's no way that Johnny thought that I'd said I was a doctor in my videos. But he sat there loving it, loving the drama. So why? Because this is clear that they're not friends. So why would Johnny try to stop Mike from doing that? And on Mike's part, Mike is a clown. If you watch his videos... Great videos. And he clowns on them. He makes jokes all the time. You don't think he knows that Greg states many times, because he does, Greg is right in this. He states many times that he's not a doctor. Everybody knows this. You don't think Mike knows that? Of course he knows this. 
fact that Mike Isertel can assume that I said I was a doctor clearly shows he rarely watched any of my videos. He doesn't like me. But he knows also that Greg is sensitive and he knows he's going to get a rise out of Greg. That's why he said the things he said. And again, Johnny's sitting back laughing, watching the show, enjoying it. He didn't even have popcorn, okay? Why? Because he's not friends. And he realizes that no matter what, Greg is not going to be his friend. So why should he stop the show and stick up for him? But then again, like look into who you're following and make sure they're really a doctor. Again, I'm not a doctor. And so maybe when Mike Isertel watches this video and discovers that I never said I was a doctor ever in my life, that he'll now suddenly think, oh, Coach Greg isn't that bad. He's actually a pretty honest guy. He doesn't lie. Now, Johnny, after this, okay, because the comments in Greg's video, they're not good. They don't make Johnny look good at all. And Greg knows this. That's why he made the video. He knows that if he showed that clip, people aren't going to be happy with Johnny. They're not going to be happy with Mike. And who's going to look like the good guy? It's Greg. So he knew this when he made his video. So then Johnny goes and he makes a video on his own. It didn't go well. He did a live. It didn't go well. They got him bad in the comments. And then he goes and makes an apology video, which I don't think he should have ever made. Because in the apology video, he also mentioned that his uncle died. God rest his soul. However, when you want to apologize to somebody, the audience sees this. If you bring up another situation in your apology to someone else, they're going to think that you're doing it to put sympathy okay, on the situation so they won't get mad at you for other things. So I don't think you should have done the video in that way. But this is the thing you guys don't know, okay? I've spent time talking to Johnny behind the scenes. And yeah, it didn't seem like he was genuine that he was sorry for that situation where he didn't interrupt Mike. I think, like I said, I think he was enjoying the show. But I know he's sorry inside that him and Greg are not friends anymore. That's why he's reached out to him so many times to try to patch things up, but Greg doesn't want any part of it. So when you see Johnny crying in that video, I know he's crying because he's sorry Greg is not his friend anymore. Now Greg, in his video, he's trying so hard to convince people that he's a good person. I am so much more authentic than you believe. Of all the people that we spoke about here, Mike, Johnny, Greg, Derek, I am by a mile. I'm so much more authentic. I'll tell you how much money I sold on Black Friday. Oh, Greg, don't announce that. Don't tell people how much you're selling. I don't care. I'm that honest. I can tell you exactly. I am authentic. I'm myself. I tell you the truth. I overshare information. And so one thing I'm not is a liar. I'm the realest of the real. There is no one I can think of that is more real than me. When everyone who knows me, that's right, everybody, everyone says I'm extremely authentic and honest to a fault. I've never met anyone as authentic as me, who is the person they truly are. I'm the most he'd ever met of anyone. I'm nothing like this. I'm very open and honest, very transparent, because I want to be open, honest, and transparent. I meet people for real. And how many thousands of you out there met me at the Mr. Olympia? Does anyone have anything bad to say about me? Because I know for a fact what I am in the real world. And my friends know, other people know. But can Johnny say the same thing? I'm asking you, Johnny, can other people say the same thing? The people around you, those who love you, or at least think they do, how have you treated those people? And let me tell you, man, in life, okay, you never go and try to tell people I'm a good person, you know, trust me, I'm authentic, all these things. You don't do that. People know who good people are by their actions, not by the things they say. So in that video, Greg, like I said, he used an opportunity to try to make himself look like a good person. I didn't see it as that because to me, good people, like I said, do things with their actions. People who truly know me, they know I'm not a narcissist. I literally would ask them, say, hey, I've read a lot of comments, people saying I'm a narcissist. What do you think about that? People who are experts, Greg, you're not a narcissist at all. You're not even close to being like that. You've dated narcissists in the past, but you are certainly not one of them. I had an open mind. I thought, May, maybe I am. And a narcissist would never say, hey, am I being a narcissist? Am I being narcissistic? Am I saying too many nice things? Narcissists, no way they would do that. 
Now, everybody knows, you know, my history with Greg. But I never hold things against him. I don't not like him as a, as a person just because I don't agree with some of the things he did. Yeah, he did some personal things to me, you know, with the content and um, something I never told you guys before. He threatened to sue me because he didn't like something that I said in a video. And, you know, I forgave him for it. You know, even though I felt like what I said in that video was true, which I'm not going to get into. I forgave him for it. And I've talked to him after. You know, I've seen a good side of Greg. I've seen a good side to him. So I'm not going to say that Greg is a bad person. But saying that, during the time Ali, his girlfriend of 10 years, they broke up. They, you know, for whatever reason, they broke up. During that time, Johnny and him had a falling out. And then another thing you guys don't know his manager, the person that helped him with all his videos, all the ideas, building up his channel, his right-hand man, he left him too. So three of the closest people in Greg's life left him at the same time. And if you think about it, they must have left him for a reason. Now, the ironic part about all that is, I'm friends with all of them now. So maybe they saw my videos that I did about Greg, and maybe some of the information I put out there rang true with them in their relationship with him. But saying that, okay, and I was saying Greg is not a bad person, I always believe, and I always say this to you guys, and even for myself, I at a time in my life, I wasn't happy, I didn't like who I was. A lot of times, we see, we go through situations, we realize we don't like some of the things we're doing, the way we're acting. We notice it in the people around us, right? How we affect them. And we try to become a better person as a result. And with Greg, him in that video trying to explain he's a good person. If you watch Greg now, okay? Look at his stories on Instagram. Look at everything. He's posting uh, videos of him reading books, underlining certain things. And what it shows me, okay, he's going through a time in his life of self-improvement. And what does that tell you? He's trying to become a better person, maybe because he lost three of these people in his life. Maybe he's seeing things about himself that he doesn't like. So I give him credit for trying to improve himself like all of us should. So saying that, like I was saying earlier, don't try to show people you're a good person or you're trying to get better by saying it. You want to become a better person, do it on your own, and let people judge by your actions.